Okay, let's start hanging out with Amane today. I have enough money this time. <laughs> Greetings, Yagami-san. Hey, Amane-san. Is the cow calamity still there? <laughs> yes. I saw it clearly from far away, and it's getting even bigger. It is? Hmm. Your misfortune appears to be concatenating with that of something else. It is as if the very threads of fate are entangling you into a snare, leaving you utterly powerless to run away from ruin. That's pretty dark. Then I'll just have to find that evil cow and defeat it as soon as possible. That certainly would be prudent. Perhaps we should engage in a game of sport or merriment, not for our own sake, but to lure out this disastrous bovine. Sure, whatever you say, Amane. <laughs> I know. Maybe I'll give Amane-san a present? I honestly don't know what she'll like. Flower ring? Is that a little bit too, like, um... Gold crosses. I already gave her earrings last time, and uh, I didn't actually see if she was still wearing it right now. Guess I'll give her a ring. Oh yeah, she is. Amanasan, I have something for you. Eh? You do? Are you sure? My, thank you so much. Sure thing. Check this out. Mm. Oh. Do you like it? Uh oh. oh. Truthfully speaking, I doubt I'd look good in it. It's a bit too stylish for me. You think so? Mm. Hmm, I wonder. Well, maybe try it on sometime. Oh no, so there are good and bad gifts, and we just gave a bad gift today. Dang. Maybe I should choose something more appropriate next time. I didn't really feel like the ring was all that different from the earrings I gave you last time, though. Alright, where should we go this time? Eh, uh, let's go to darts today. How about we kill some time for a bit? Wanna play some darts? In the past, I knew a man who bore the sign of a needle calamity. He ended up having a terrible accident with darts. Will you truly be safe? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? It's just a cow we're after, not a needle. Okay then. Well, she seems okay with it, although I think the one thing that she does want to do is shogi. Next time we'll do shogi. I don't have the app hold up right now, that's the thing. Is this your first time playing darts? Mm. Yes. All I have to do is throw them at you, right? <laughs> Not at me. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, no, 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 no. You throw them at the board, not me. <laughs> Relax. I played darts plenty of times, so I know what I'm doing. Oh, for crying out loud. You got me with that one. Shall we have a little competition? Sure. Sounds fun. Okay, so apparently Tsukino, it was like her first time playing darts, or like first or second, and she beat me, and Amane-san's really good at darts, and Asana was really good at darts, so I think I'm probably gonna get my ass beat again, but uh... We'll see. We'll just have to see. Yagami-san, prepare yourself. Okay, can I use a touchpad instead? No, I gotta use a joystick here. Ah! Nice try. Well, if I win, she'll think I'm cool. If she wins, she'll feel happy about it. What? That was right on the border. There we go. I don't know what double bowl means. Pretty sure we did poorly, though, with the first two darts. So we'll see how Amani does now. Is it the same as me? Okay. There's some kind of technique to this because she didn't get a single bullseye just now, but she got better scores than me. Something about the singles and the triples and the doubles? Depending on the colors and the, the numbers on the outside, I guess? For me, I'm really just aiming in the middle here, so I'm not gonna think too hard. Double bowl. Do 
doing good today. Oh. Oh. My god. Three. We're the last one. So close. See, I got like a hundred points from that. That's really not that much, right? I think she can beat me. Oh my lord. Okay. Maybe I'll actually win today. Who knows? I should probably look at the instructions of this thing if I want to win. <laughs> right in the middle. Oh. The closer to the bullseye you get, is it like actually a lower score because you're trying to risk big here, but you end up failing. Maybe some of the outer places actually have higher scores. Just depends on how much risk you want to take. Well, I think we'll win this one, finally. The one time. Whoa! Okay, maybe not! Oh! Great, but we still won. Whew. Pretty close, though. I lost. <laughs> Look at Yagami! God damn it, you're on a date with a girl! Can you not look like that? He looks like he's saying, oh yeah, hell yeah, I won. I'm better than you. <laughs> All right, I won. You truly have impeccable aim and control. <laughs> Damn straight I do. <laughs> Was she impressed by that? I think so. I don't think the meter went up all that much though, so I'm a little bit worried. It would seem our Oxen opponent has failed to show itself yet again. If it's going to show up at all, I'd rather happen I'd rather it happen sooner than later. Yeah, let's go to it. It's this cow right there. This is Kim's place. Wait a sec. Beef zone? Yagami-san. Yagami-san. Do my eyes deceive me or is that <laughs> Yeah, that's Definitely a cow. Right now, this restaurant is quite possibly the most dangerous place in the world to you. Even the smallest bite of beef will rack your organs with writhing pain and poison. Of this I am certain. You wanna check it out? What? Surely you jest! <laughs> nah, my friend Kim-san runs that place. I know he wouldn't serve us anything but the best. Besides, it has something to do with cows. I think it's the perfect place to lure out that calamity. Mm. Mm. But you would be plunging into chaos itself. Oh, I'll be fine. Let's just head in and enjoy. My treat. I if we can force it to come out, we're kind of meeting it on our own terms, right? So maybe that's marginally better? You've lost your mind. Oh, come on, Amane. I'll treat you. Tabehodai! All you can eat! Cheap stuff! Moo! Oh, how horrendous! The entire place reeks with the tainted stench of animal flesh! Uh. Don't say that kind of stuff inside a restaurant. Welcome to the beef zone! Oh? Yagami-san? Oh. Hey, Kim-san! You got seats for two? Even though I ignored all your texts? For you folks? You bet I do. And who's this beautiful young lady? I didn't know you had a girlfriend. I beg your pardon? Oh, was I mistaken? Um... Uh, I don't know if she would like this kind of strong arming. Let's go for it. I don't think I would like it personally. I mean, depends on if I like the person or not. If it's someone I like, then obviously I'm gonna be okay with it. <laughs> nope, she's my girlfriend. Cute, isn't she? Huh? Wait just a moment. Yagami-san, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> I was only kidding. Well, I'd appreciate it if you didn't toy with my feelings like that. The bar didn't go up that much. 
Oh, it sounds like you two have some issues to work out. Anyway, feel free to have a seat wherever you like. I don't have a good grasp of what Amana wants to... It's really stupid because I'm trying to like change myself to act according to what I think she'll like, which is of course something you shouldn't do in real life, but you know, it's a video game, so it's okay. Perhaps you should take the path of caution and stick to only vegetables? No way. I'm not gonna put myself on a diet because of some stupid calamity. I see. You just called it stupid. You're basically calling her prophecy stupid. Well, time to dig in. Mmm, now that's good beef. Please be careful. Alright, now what should we talk about? Uh... Let's start off with something not so intrusive. So, someone finally listened to your warning, huh? Hi. Yes, it would appear that tone and delivery is more crucial than I initially expected. Then does that mean your work issues are solved? It seems that would be the case. You know, Yagami-san, ever since I met you, I feel like things have been going well for me. What do you mean? You see, I've always wanted to use my abilities to help other people. But no one would ever believe me. On the contrary, people would either get scared or make fun of me. <sighs> it is said that a prophet is never accepted in their hometown. The same held true for me. Everyone was so cold. Mm. I can tell you that girls in general, when they tell you about their problem, they want you to say, yeah, you're right, I'm on your side. They don't want you to give them a solution, okay? I read this in the textbook before, okay? I'm not just saying this. But in general, girls rant because they want to rant. Guys rant because they want a solution. What a bunch of jerks. Hmm. You were the only one, Yagami-san. The only one of what? To hear what I've had to say from the beginning, and even take action upon it. <laughs> it probably helps that you gave me some money. And you did it not only for my sake, but also for the sake of others. Uh, I want to help other people too. Well, of course. I want to use my abilities to help people too, when they give me money. Truly, you do? Yeah, with money. Knowing there is something only you can do to make the world a better place is one of the best feelings in the world. Eh, there's some kind of weird psychology behind that, huh? Because it's almost like you need to feel needed by somebody. I agree. That's how I feel when we're working together. Although I do have to charge for compensation, since it is my job and all. A guy's gotta eat too. And pay his three month overdue rent? Heh. <laughs> Well, I doubt a glutton like you would starve. Hmm. Tell me more about yourself, Amanasan. Hi. Sure. What would you like to know? Her age. Oh, we don't know her actual age yet. Yeah, she looks like she's like 20. What did we say last time? Like 28, 27? I would assume. I, it's hard to tell. That seems a little bit inappropriate. Hmm. Can we only ask one? If we can only get one, I'd rather have her full name, to be honest. Come to think about it, I don't even know your full name. That's right. I haven't revealed that to you yet. It's... Tsumugi. Ah, so your full name is Amane Tsumugi? The opposite, actually. Wait, really? Yes. My name is Tsumugi Amane. Ah, so Amane is her last name. Hmm. Whoa. That sounds even more intense. It's like one of those names where... Like, you know how some people have two last names as a name? Like, uh, for example... Uh, I can't think of an example right now. Maybe like, Tom David or something. And then both of them are actually first names. Hi. Does it? I thought it's strange to introduce myself to strangers by my first name. You're right. I guess that makes sense. Yagami-san, what's your first name? Takayuki. 
Takayuki-san. Such a gentle name. I think it fits you quite well. So does yours. Why, thank you. Hmm, she's already calling me Takayuki-san right off the bat. How old are you, Amane-san? How old are you, Yagami-san? I'm 35. Inching ever closer to my 40s. 35. Wow, you don't look like it. So what about you? If you're that curious, then why don't you try and guess? Okay, if that's how you want to play. No, no, I think she's in her 20s. Late 20s? You're in your 20s, right? That would be correct. Okay, now I just have to guess the number. No, 24 is a little young. 29? 29 or 27? Uh, 27. 27? You never cease to amaze me, Yagami-san. You got it. So you're 27, huh? Wow, you're young. And not so much. That's almost 30. Oh god, when you're 27, you can't say you're in your mid-20s anymore. Um, ask about her love life. Hey, amane -san. Hi. Yes? Do you have a boyfriend? Eh? What do you ask? I'm asking because if you did, he probably wouldn't want you hanging out alone with me. <sighs> to be frank, this is what I do as a professional. Whether my boyfriend approves or even exists to begin with matters not. Fair enough. You know, I'm assuming that all these girls are available, but it actually would be really interesting if we started dating a girl who isn't, but she pretended to be. And then we had some sort of a situation where we had a confrontation with the other guy or girl. So is she dating anyone or did she just dodge my question? I'll leave that up to your imagination. Whoa. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. I can often sense what people around me are thinking. I'm a fortune teller after all. Oh, that's right! I didn't say it out loud, but she responded to it! And I better watch my thoughts. <sighs> hey, 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 hey! Then I better watch out for dirty thoughts. That's what you just thought to yourself, isn't it? <laughs> hey, now. I didn't go that far. <laughs> it's fine. As long as they simply remain thoughts. Uh, no! Why would you be a jackass? Hey, it's hard for me to not think dirty when last time you were telling me about your voluptuous body and how you did nude modeling, okay? It's not my fault. Hey now, believe it or not, I'm actually quite the gentleman. You're an interesting person. How can I be certain? Uh... You can be certain by not asking her measurements, I think. How about we take a picture together? Something to remember this by. You know, I think I'd like that. It's nice that we're actually going out to regular places and seeing people on these dates. Cause when we were dating Sana, she's a singer, right? So we had to like hide in my office all day long. And yeah, so it's nice that we're talking to people here. Looks good. You were in the photo, so that was great. I have to ask for measurements? Really? Oh my god. I don't know if I'm allowed to ask you, but... Mm -hmm. What is it? Um... Hi. Go on. Ugh, I can't go any longer without knowing her figure. Curse this inquisitive detective mind of mine. <laughs> but is it really okay to ask her straight up? I think it might be okay. Because she was straight up about the nude modeling, too. And she mentioned herself that she had a voluptuous body. I feel like your measurements would match those of a model. Eh? Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> you're a curious little boy, aren't you? I can clearly see you're trying to guess my sizes. Sorry. It's a guy thing. Oh? Then what would be your estimation? <laughs> Whoa! You're okay with me guessing? Alright then. Oh, this is weird! This is weird! Even if I liked somebody, if they did this to me, I'd be completely weirded out and there would be no second date. Jesus. Let's see, those are C cups? No, maybe even D cups? How can you tell? She's wearing like a wizard robe! 
Your eyes scare me, Yagami-san. <laughs> God. Hmm. I think you'd be about... Would you mind not leering at me? Sorry. Well then, now that that's over with... Actually, forget it. I feel like I'll lose my morals if I keep going. Yeah, like, what was the point of that conversation? I couldn't end it! I had to do it! But we didn't get any sort of, like, um... Love meter thing increasing, so that was probably a bad move. But it's okay, because we reached the end of this bar anyway, and we can't go beyond one level in one date. Oh! Oh, starving! Oh, crap. That's... Why are you here? This is Kim's store! Welcome to the beef zone! Oh my! Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, at this rate, I could eat a whole cow! Scratch that! I could eat an entire herd of them! Is he prioritizing his appetite over me? Or did he just not notice? <laughs> that was weird! Either way, I should just go about my business. Nah. Hey you! Give me one of everything on the menu. Scratch that. Give me everything you got in the restaurant. I know. I hate to ask, but would you mind settling your tab first? I don't wanna. Mm. Come again? I'm saying that unless you bring me food right now, I'm gonna wreck the shit out of this place, starting with you. Please don't. Go home. Feed me! Feed me! Feed me! Shit, is this what the cow calamity is? Well, he does eat like a cow. Maybe I should intervene. Nah, bye, Kim. <laughs> then again, I would be plunging headfirst into calamity. Oh, no, I can't just leave Kim-san hanging. Every time they give you two choices, it's actually just one choice. I don't know why they even bother with this. Hey. Huh? Huh? You better pay your bill if you plan on eating here. Oh? Huh? Huh? I've seen you before. <laughs> You're Kasai's friend, aren't you? Uh... Wrong. Definitely wrong. Now listen close. If you don't pay, you can't eat. And if you want to eat, you gotta pay. Get that through your thick head. <laughs> you getting in the way of my grub session? If so, I'm gonna have to let loose on ya, Kasai's friend or not. <laughs> You know you'll get punished by the food god, right? There's a food god? Oh, yeah. The food god's job is to bless whoever pays for their food and curse those who don't. As the proverb goes, he who does not work, neither shall he eat. Do you really want to lose your ability to eat forever? You're lying! There's no such thing! It is exactly as he says. Amane-san? Who the hell are you? I'm a divine soothsayer. My predictions are absolute. A divine soothsayer? That doesn't sound good. You'll get a free divination. Huh? What are you looking at me like that? As I thought, I see the sign of the hunger calamity rising before you. <laughs> what? What's a hunger calamity? <laughs> you have enraged a deity that presides over all edible food. At this rate, you will succumb to hunger and die. No, say it ain't so! And then... As punishment for your gluttony, you shall ascend into the lowest circle of hell. Now, make your decision. Pay your bill and atone for your sins or descend into the netherworld. It looks like... More than I could chew! Just pay up! Do you not have any money at all? Oh, he did pay! Thank you for your business! Yagami-san! Fortune teller lady! Thank you for driving away that thief! You two are incredible! Nah, we were just doing our thing. But... Does this mean my cow calamity is gone? I mean, Sakagiba is more of a cow than most actual cows, so... Still here. Your calamity still remains. Mm -hmm. What? The sign of the cow calamity hasn't disappeared. If anything, 
It's gotten bigger. Eh? No way. What could this possibly mean? I'm trying to think of like cow puns right now, but what could it mean? Akoshimaru? <sighs> it would seem that the cow calamity continues to elude us. I guess we've just got to be patient. Nevertheless, you never cease to amaze me. I can't believe you decided to help your friend despite the calamity at hand. Oh, he wasn't my friend. <laughs> I guess I'm the same as you, Amane-san. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I had the power to fix the situation, so I did whatever I could. Simple as that. Oh, you mean Kim! I thought you were talking about Sakakiba. <laughs> you truly are a splendid individual. Right back at you. Yagami-san, there is something I must ask. Hmm? What's up? Well... Would you still consider going out with me? Even after your calamity is repelled? Eh? Huh? Whenever we're together, I find myself having a wonderful time. And... I also feel more positive about who I am. Okay then, sure. We can go at any time. Oh, that's kind of sweet, and she's very straightforward, which, you know, usually before two people become a couple, it's all very, like, ambiguous, and people don't want to um, show what they're truly feeling, right? But she's being very open about it. <laughs> Would you also consider working as my full-time partner from now on? <laughs> Let's save that discussion for another time. Where did we just walk back from? <laughs> Today was quite enjoyable, Yagami-san. Good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, it was a solid date. <laughs> if only the calamity hadn't bothered us. I suppose I should say farewell for now. Bye. Amanem has... Like, her personality is a bit different from the average... I guess, like, I don't know. Tsukino and Sana. These girls have more typical personalities if you think about dating sims. But it's nice to have someone that's a little bit different. She seems to be a nice girl, although a little bit eccentric too. But hey, aren't we all a little bit eccentric inside? Um, okay. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wow, she's all dressed up already. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, sorry I made you wait. Whoa. Check out that outfit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you like it? This is what I've been wearing to my interviews. Looks good. Even though it's just practice, I still wanted to look prepared. Our interview hasn't started yet, has it? Oh. Mm? You should check your shirt before we begin. Uh, well, she's not wearing a dress shirt. Hmm? Oh, a button. I noticed you haven't fastened all your buttons. But isn't the proper way to leave the last button undone? If you have more than two. Uh, well, I'm saying it's wrong, right? So... Actually, that's wrong. You're thinking of how guys do it. The right way. Uh, leave them all fastened? I mean, that sounds wrong too, but like, it's just that when she has two buttons there... I mean, I kind of feel like it's okay. The proper way for a lady to wear her shirt is to fasten all the buttons. Really? I had no idea. Me neither. I'm surprised you knew. Yeah, I used to wear a suit for my old job. I remember one time, I pointed out my colleague's button and, yeah, it got kind of awkward. So you decided to do it right now? Is there anything else wrong with our attire? More importantly, there's a cat here. I heard you. The bag is kind of old and stuff. That bag is too flashy for someone wearing a suit. Something black or dark blue would fit better. 
Well, that's true. I never thought about that. Hmm. But other than that, you look great. Yeah, you look... prepared. And determined. Should I give Tsukino-chan a present? Oh, I wish I could give her something more appropriate, like, I don't know, a dress shirt or a tie for her interviews and... stuff. This all just seems too childish for someone trying to go for a job. Gorgeous? I don't know if she'll like that. This seems a little bit too cheap and plasticky. But maybe it's better than this one. I don't know! I don't know! I actually have something for you, Tsukino-chan. Oh, you do? Yeah. I really hope you'll like it. Oh, she does. Good. Wow, thank you so much. Seriously, this is awesome. Well, she seems to be pretty happy with it. And that's all that matters, right? So, ready to start that practice interview? Huh? Yes, yes I am. Let's get started. You sure? Because you look nervous as heck. Uh, I do? Definitely. I think we should start when you're a little more relaxed. Why don't we go and wine somewhere? That's considerate of you. Um, She's wearing a suit. It's kind of hard to do any of these things, but... Oh, I don't like how it overlaps with Amane's activities a lot. The batting center is the only change here. I'd rather go do the UFO catcher again with Sana, seriously. <laughs> what about the batting center? What? Wearing an outfit like this? I'm sure there are people who go in their work clothes. Hmm, maybe. Hope I don't get all sweaty. Well, if you do, you can just take it off. <laughs> None of those activities were good for a suit though, okay? Have you ever been to a batting center? No. This is my first time. Okay, so all you need to do is hit every ball that comes flying at you. From unpredictable angles. That sounds impossible. Even if I were athletic. How about I watch from the sidelines? Is that okay with you? Hi. Yeah, that way I can learn from the best. Alright, I better not screw this up. Oh no! I don't have a good track record of not screwing this up. <laughs> it's a lot yes. to see. I do have those gloves, which don't do anything. Katobas. I got the freebie. Oh my god. Yes. Mm. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta look good here. Mm. No! Swung a tad too fast. Dang it! That was so fast, though. Oh! Okay, that was really fast, too. Oh, God. Can we at least not get a foul? Oh, I'm hitting them okay, but oh god, this is one of my worst ones. <laughs> DQ did not qualify. Oh god, Tsukino, I'm so <laughs> Why did I pick this? Hmm, that kind of sucked. Don't worry, it happens. Oh, damn, now I gotta redeem myself next time. Oh man. You know, Tsukino, girls like Tsukino and Sana, they're nice about it, so they're not gonna care too much, but still! Ah, <sighs> today was so much fun! Oh, I'm sorry, Tsukino, you didn't even get to do anything! I needed this little break. All I ever think about is job hunting these days. It's important to take it easy every now and then. Maybe we should sit down somewhere and talk? What would she have preferred, though? She came in that suit. Darts? 
Casino? Casino's not really appropriate for her, right? Oh god, her fiance, I forgot about that. Ask about her drawings. I remember you said you like drawing. Do you also do other kinds of art? Like water oil or <laughs> watercolor or oil painting, maybe? Yeah. Oh no, I don't do anything complicated like that. I'm mostly about character illustrations. I'm sort of a geek that way. Oh, are you like an anime fan? Oh, so you're a manga artist then. Yeah, except for the fact that I can't come up with any kind of story. I can draw cute characters or creatures, but that's about it. I'd love to check those out. That's still really cool though. I'd love to check those out. You would? Well, you drew them, so yeah. I'm not sure they're ready to be shown off, though. Sorry, but maybe once I'm a little bit more talented, I'll let you take a look. Yeah, she's, um... Tsukino doesn't have too much confidence. Okay, guess I have to be patient. Hmm. Let's... Yeah. Do we want to do the interview first, or ask about her fiancé first? Yeah. Interview first. We could practice for your interview, like you mentioned. Okay. I guess I'll start by talking about why I applied. The interview was for a publishing company. I see. Then I'll pretend to be the hiring manager and ask you a couple of questions. Ugh, I'm getting nervous already. Well then, please go ahead. Uh, the reason I applied here is... Uh, go on. I, uh, forgot what I was gonna say. Oh. My mind... It went completely blank. Okay, well... Just try and relax, for starters. Oh, she's this nervous even when she's doing a practice interview with me. Not even the real deal. Hmm. All right. I think I'm good now. Why did you apply here? What in particular makes you interested in our company? Hi. Oh, right. The reason I'm applying. Um, well, I've always liked to read. I was the type of girl who would stay inside reading rather than going out to play. Ah, so you're more of an indoors type of person. Yes, I actually didn't have many friends other than my brother. Okay, don't talk about this part. So I would often fantasize about living in the world of my books. <laughs> That's why I've always wanted to publish books that inspire the imagination. I see. Hmm. What makes Tsukino chan's statement stand out more? Uh. Wait, what? Were you quiet as a child? Did you apply anywhere else? How's this relevant? I guess this one? Were you quiet as a child? I would say so. Unlike my brother, I was pretty timid. I wasn't really good at meeting people or opening up to others. But I'm much better now. And why is that? This is good. I didn't really like how I was, so when I got to college, I made a conscious effort to talk to more people. See, it's showing the... It's like the, what is your greatest weakness? So in those questions in job interviews, you have to make sure that you say something that you're improving on. Don't just say something you're bad at. And don't say stuff like, oh, I work too hard, because that's bullshit too. Just say something like, oh, I have this weakness, but this is how I'm working on it. And was that effort successful? I think so. I made three... No, five! I made five new friends! I see. I suppose that does count for something. Huh? Have you been applying to other companies as well? Hi. Yes! I feel like I should have my options open, so... Does that mean that we're not the company you want to work for the most? That question is so much bullshit, okay? We all want a job because we want to pay the bills. Oh, well, that's... Oh, no. Hey, you really think they'll take it that way? I think so. 
I might hesitate about hiring you if I knew you were applying for other companies. What? What the hell kind of logic is that? I completely disagree with this. I don't know what the hell whoever wrote this was thinking. Also, you should have a strong reason why this company would be your first pick. Oh, that's good. It's not like going to school. You're not applying to a school. You're just applying to a job. And like, okay, if you're going to publishing, there's multiple publishing companies out there, right? So why? What? Why would a company expect that you would only apply to them? Because the interviewee can't guarantee that you'll hire them. Why would they put all their eggs in one basket? I don't agree with this at all. So, how would you describe yourself in a couple sentences? Um, let's see. Well, I think I'm pretty diligent and spunky. Is that the right word? Hmm. Oh, and I'm also a pretty balanced worker. On top of that, people are always telling me I'm kind. It's true, I almost never get mad. Yeah, tell me more about how you're detail-oriented and you're a great people person. And you're organized. <laughs> What? Anything else? Um, I look forward to working with you. I see. Well, I can tell you'd make a very teachable employee, just not a particularly well-spoken one. Hmm, <laughs> well, being well-spoken is not something that you need for every single job. Just for the interview. <laughs> now, can you tell me what kind of contribution you can make to our company? But I'm just a student. What kind of significant contribution could I even make? <laughs> well, I guess I could copy papers and make tea without giving you any attitude. Mmm, <laughs> no. Hey, what kind of job are you looking for right now? Like, the job that you're going to be working for in the future? A career? Or more like a part-time job for the summer? I'm guessing it's a career thing, right? Hmm. I suggest you learn about the company culture the moment you get hired. That way, you can find where you fit in. That's smart. Yeah. So, also, one more thing since we're talking about jobs here. When, at the end, they ask you, Do you have any questions? It is never the right answer to say, No, I don't. So please, people, ask questions. I wonder what your future husband thinks about this whole situation. Couldn't say. Haven't seen him in forever. Last time was the first year of middle school. Okay, well, do you know if he's going along with it? Or are his parents calling all the shots? Hmm, he seemed to be pretty comfortable with the whole thing, unlike me. Maybe he's just doing it for his family's sake. Or maybe because he thinks you're pretty. Yeah, exactly. Uh, hmm. No, this is the better one. Well, if it's you we're talking about, I'm sure he wouldn't mind getting hitched. Huh? Why do you say that? Because, Tsukino-chan, you have a great personality. Not to mention, you're pretty darn cute. What? You really think I'm cute? Boom. Heh, <laughs> you just love to dish out the compliments, don't you? What was he like in middle school? He wasn't such a bad kid. He was quiet. He liked small animals and plants. He also read a lot. Hmm. You two might actually get along. So he was pretty mellow, huh? Sounds like you two might actually get along. Reading. Indoors type. I'm not so sure. We might have had some common interests. But I have no idea what he's like now. If he's the heir to a wealthy family, does that mean he's some kind of elite member of society? Hi. It seems so. I heard he's studying abroad in England right now. Why are you not studying abroad? Study in England, huh? Must be nice. <sighs> yeah, well, he's getting a good education, but an awful marriage. Being part of the elite isn't all it's cracked up to be. Well, you're poor, that's why you're jealous, right? Uh, let's not show our jealousy. Yeah, I do kind of feel for the guy. Hi. Right. 
having to get married to someone like me. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. Yeah, you know that's not what I meant. You want to take an actual picture today? Hi. Like the one where you're in the photo? Oh, thank God she's here. She's wearing something formal, though. Would be nice if we could get her wearing another outfit some other time. We happy? <laughs> we went to M Side Cafe again. Oh god. Good enough. Does this look okay? Yep. Though I am a little embarrassed. I'll send this to you later. Okay. Well, that was good practice, but we didn't really give her any suggestions. That elegant posterior posture, that bewitching feminine figure, has a decade spent apart deceived my eyes? Oh! He's here! Alas, it is as I suspected. Mm -hmm. Huh? What's up with this dude? England! Mr. England! At long last, my fair sweet tsukino san it is you! Wow, what? Are they supposed to be the same age? Because he looks like he's... <laughs> he looks like he's in his 30s. Late 30s. Huh? The 10 torturous years I spent without you seemed longer than eternity itself. Oh, uh, how I long to gaze upon your delicate visage once more. Huh? I'm sorry? <laughs> I've sailed across oceans, climbed rugged mountains, and after 120 passes of the moon, I stand before you here. Masako. Wait, you wouldn't happen to be... <laughs> yes, it is I, Daichi Ryuzenji, your beloved fiancé. Huh? No, no way! And you, I see these years I've treated you quite well. <laughs> Compared to you, even Venus herself appears haggard. Uh? Who? And here is where words fail me. Were I to compose a thousand sonnets, they not scratch thy splendorous surface. Humanity only realizes the futility of speech when confronted by absolute beauty. Hey. But I digress. Have you not noticed a princely aura of sophistication seeping from within me? There is an aura seeping from within you, but I'm not sure if it's princely. For I have metamorphosed into a true English gentleman, worthy of your affections and praise. Oh, no. Hey, will you stop monologuing for a second? Yes, my liege? What are you even doing here? I thought you were studying in England. Ah, oh, but of course. I have completed my academic pursuits in England and hence returned. I heard you made a journey to Tokyo. So I took it upon myself to find you. And here we are. Two lovers reunited. Nah. Tsukino-san, is this guy really him? Hi. Yes. Even though he named himself earlier and stated that he was my fiancé, I still find it hard to believe. <laughs> and you must be Tsukino-san's servant. Well then, your service has been much appreciated. You are hereby dismissed. Yeah. Oh, I'm no servant. What? Then just who do you think you are? I'm her boyfriend. You wanna wrap it up right away? Heck yeah! Do it! Oh! You know that situation we were just mentioning with Amane? I was saying how, oh, it would be kinda cool if we had a situation where the girl was already dating someone else and then we were kinda like going into it as a third party. That's exactly the situation right here! I'm her boyfriend. What? Huh? Yagami-san! <laughs> huh. You can't fool me with such nonsense. Tsukino-san would never fall for a mongrel like you. Nah. So, I don't mean to knock you off your high horse, but she and I were trying to have a conversation here. <laughs> <laughs> then answer me this. How much is your salary, and what's your net worth? Have a pence and a moldy loaf of bread at wager. Yeah, at least I earned it myself. Mm -hmm. And why should I sell you?
Yes, young master? Holy crap, where did he come out of? Yukikawa, my bank account in Switzerland. A stylish peasant with its contents, if you would be so kind. Oh, certainly. When converted into Japanese yen, you possess roughly 200 million yen, sir. Eh? 200 million yen? <laughs> Did you hear that? The paltry sum is merely what I've been putting away for our wedding. Tsukino savings, if you will. Well then, it appears that I surpass you in... Hmm, let's see. Status, money, and appearance. Oh, you poor fool. <laughs> this guy. Now, Tsukino-san, let us return to our province, where we will have a wedding of incomparable grandeur. Where do you wish to travel for our honeymoon? France? Perhaps Italy? Hold on a second! Hmm? Yeah. Onto what? Look! I haven't fully thought this marriage through yet. I mean, I haven't even graduated college. How? Oh, how strange. You promised me when we were children. I remember it like it was yesterday. We were at the sandbox in the playground. And you came up and told me. Let's get married when we grow up. Oh. The joy those words brought me. Not a day went by when I forgot about our sacred oath. Well, yeah, I did say that, but... <laughs> oh, I see how it is. You're trying not to hurt the feelings of this peasant here. Such kindness. You truly are the goddess of a woman. Oh, no. Actually, we were trying to have some tea together. So now is not a good time for all this. Oh, well, how rude of me. A true English gentleman would never interrupt tea time. It seems my timing was off. Very well then, I shall return. Ah, oh, but before I go, allow me to say one thing, you impoverished looking peasant. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Make no mistake, I am Tsukino-san's one and only fiance, and don't you forget it. Uh-huh. Now then, let us be off, Yukikawa. As you wish, young master. <laughs> this guy sticks out like a sore thumb here. Sorry I had to go through all that. I know he's a little different from most guys. He kept saying he was an English gentleman. Is he part British too? No, I'm pretty sure he's full Japanese. So he's like an English weeaboo. Eng English abu. <laughs> in fact, he's from the countryside, somewhere out in Nibaraki. I think he gets all caught up in that persona of his because he studied overseas. Uh... So he's a makeshift English gentleman then. Jeez. And right when we were finished with the Twisted Trio, too. <laughs> There's a fifth one. <laughs> I really think you do attract strange men, Tsukino chan. Including me. Maybe so. You really said you were gonna marry him as a kid? Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Oh no. Proposals you make as a child don't really count, do they? No, I don't think so. But he seems to have taken it seriously enough. Well, that's his problem, to be honest. Well, Yakami-san, despite all the crazy things that happened today, I had a lot of fun hanging out with you. Our interview practice was really helpful, too. I didn't really give her that many suggestions, though. I'm glad to hear that. Hi. Again, thank you so much. Oh. Whoa, she didn't even say bye to me today. What the heck? What happened to my bye animation? They took it away from me. That's awful.